looking at the questions that we've got here, right, the, we're going to go through a couple of these, but I'm going to help you kind of break them down into where the marks come from. So have a quick look. We've got many people use smartphones. Smartphones are often used for a range of sensors and have the ability to run software known as apps. Smartphones are an example of mobile technology. I always go through and I tend to highlight the key words that I think that it's talking about. So in this case, technology. Discuss some of the ethical, legal, and environmental issues that surround the use of smartphones and apps on them. Now, generally speaking, when you look at a mark scheme, what they do is they talk about something called a level three answer. Level three answers mean that you've got the full nine marks. Now, what they want from a level three answer is have you got a line of reasoning? They always look for this line of reasoning. In other words, you understand the problem. There's some context there. So what is the problem? Is there context? And are you linking it back to the scenario? All right. So it's obviously to do it, do with uh, smartphones. All right. So we've got that. Is there a line of reasoning? Does it talk about the problem uh, such as smartphones? All right. Now, one key thing to take away from this, all right, they usually want you to, in order to get up into the seven to nine marks, they want you to usually cover at least, I'm going to say at least two areas. That's usually to get the nine marks, all right, but they need to be covered in enough detail. So what they would expect you to do is cover at least two of these areas. You've got legal, ethical, and environmental in this case. Generally, what you need to think about, lots of people freak out in this and think, oh, I've got to cover all three areas and there's three marks per one. No, if you cover two areas really, really well, and you'll see that when you get given the mark schemes, you can get enough, as long as you've got enough valid points to kind of bulk it out. Now, uh, looking at the mark scheme, you expect it to cover at least, so you need to have covered at least two of these areas, but four points per area. All right, so you'd need four points for legal, or four points for ethical, or four points for environmental. So it's either that, or that, or that, if that makes sense. So you're expected to, act for a level three answer, make sure your answer makes sense. It links to the, the, the context of the question. What is the problem? So in this case, our context is all about smartphones, so link it back to the use of them. But then to get nine marks, there must be two of those areas covered with at least four key points per area. So if I was to talk, even without looking at the mark scheme here, what sort of legal issue could you face with a smartphone? Um, there are some apps which uh, track other smartphones. What is bad about that? This is where you've not got any line of reasoning. So, yeah, apps that track, why is that bad? Because it tells people the other people's locations without them knowing the green terms. Yeah, but what legal aspect? You've not still not given me a, a law. Yeah? Couldn't I, right, if, if you're talking about legalities, there are two that generally usually get asked about, uh, all right? I'm going to go over one of those. One is the Data Protection Act, all right? So you could go to town on that. You could really talk about people stealing your data, how you, other companies have got to be responsible for, uh, for c the control of your data. You could also, it's not really relevant in this case though, the, in copyright, it's not really relevant. So I would go, okay, I'm talking about the use of phones, unless I talked about people taking photographs of other people's work and passing it off as their own. It's very loose that you're going to be able to talk about that. Any other kind of legal aspects, yeah. 
maybe someone could show the was entering passwords in our mobile device, which would come under the computer and misuse that? Um, you could talk about the computer misuse act, yes, but you'd need to really justify how you would, you'd need to say like the apps need to, so again, there's my link there to an app. The apps really need to link back to, uh, sorry, uh, the apps really need to be secure. They need to have like a third party review them, maybe somebody to sign them off to ensure that it's safe uh, or the apps will need to be updated regularly so that there are not any do you see where I'm going with that? So how you meet with, meet with that. Uh, if you were talking about copyright with the apps, what you could discuss is how somebody could copy somebody else's app. So there is an element of that there. So I don't want to say that it's not completely there. Because when you're developing apps, other people, think about it. Some apps are open source, some are closed source. So there is a, a kind of link there that you could get. Uh, we've got data protection. What about how mobile phones can be used to break the law. Now one issue that, and it's, you can go as deep as you want when you're talking about this and you could almost link it to ethical issues, all right? Phones, from a legal point of view, which kind of goes into these areas, what about consent? I'm not even talking about data. What's to stop somebody sending on somebody else's picture? that sort of level. So you could really go to town talking about areas of consent. I'm taking a picture of you and sending that to somebody else without your permission. But that also links it into a, a kind of ethical moral issue, doesn't it? You need to make sure you've got permission from somebody before you share a photograph of them. You're going to ask something. Yeah, could you go deeper, like saying selling phones illegally or would that not be like considered? I wouldn't go there with that. No, it's, it's the, notice this question is about the use. Yeah. Selling a phone is not a use of it, mm. so you really need to think about that. Uh, so you've got to think about the laws, think about the data. Uh, this is just in this, this area here. Um, right. Now, obviously, we've not written an answer yet. What sort of ethical issues? One we've talked about is the use of it in terms of taking photos. All right. Uh, photos uh, slash using others content all right what else could we put there oh it's a bit of an odd point but in the manufacturing of it things like sulfur use and that is usually coming from a quite dangerous industry i would take the material i'll take that question and flip it to talk uh, talk about materials and environmental oh, yeah so i would go there if you're going to talk about materials link it to so materials generally go into environmental all right. Yes. Could you talk about it being sort of discriminatory between people who can't afford a phone or can't have a phone? That is a very ethical issue. So you can talk about the cost to uh, countries uh, who do not have access. What about app designers when they're gathering the data? Oh, app designers and the data they hold on people, data they hold. Uh, we can also uh, say uh, that they need to be aware of what, this kind of links into legal, into the Data Protection Act, so just be aware of that, that the app designers, if they want to use your data for something, they need to actually, so the app designers need permission to use your data. Now, in terms of environmental issues, that was a very good point that he made there, talking about sulfur, talking about all those different materials. But what you can talk about is not many phones are being recycled anymore. Would you know what to do if you're, when your phone's dead, or do you just throw it? Some people trade it in, which is a good, but you could link that and say, uh, when people are buying phones, they need to be aware that they can trade it in, which is much better for the environment. But then there's also, with more and more phones being made, there's more chips being made, which don't necessarily work with landfill. Talk about landfill increasing with more technology, more technology wastage, in, uh, which is bad for the, the planet. Um, 
What about the production? All right, production of these factories and greenhouse gases. We know that um, at the moment, you may have seen it like with the G8 summit. You don't need to necessarily talk about the G8 summit in your answer, but often there's this massive kind of argument between the, the West, isn't there, and China, because China aren't necessarily d doing everything right with their greenhouse gases. So some countries are really, really good, others aren't. So what I want you to get, those are some discussion points that we've got there, but what I really, really, really need you to take from that is at least two of those areas in a lot of detail. Uh, the other things that I've not mentioned, which could be used in terms of legal, ethical environment. So these are some kind of general issues that you would need to take elsewhere. Uh, you could have, so we've had personal data. What about GPS? All right, there's an ethical issue there of people being tracked. All right, I know some parents that use a GPS on their children's phone for a reason because when they get off the bus late at night, particularly at Christmas, they're worried that they're, they're, they're walking home in the dark, so they have GPS on their phone. But how could that be used in a negative way? Have any of you um, heard about the negative use of air tags? Yeah. Where people had had air tags just shoved in their... Yeah. So you could talk about phones being used as trackers for people and how that can be abused. As long as your points are valid, that's fine. But just make sure I'd avoid naming specific brands. Yes? You also talk about trolling online as well. Or um, you could talk about, yeah, because it is a use, but don't use the word trolling. Just say some people can use those phones for negative reasons uh, to harm people. So you could talk about that. Cyberbullying. That is cyberbullying. Um, the other thing you that I've talked about, what about your microphone on the device, right? You know, like we've got Alexa or Google, that's been proven that it listens in on us. How many of you, uh, and just in case you haven't thought of this point, you've, I'm guessing a lot of you have got social media, all right? I can guarantee now, right, if I start talking about pregnancy, babies, uh, nappies, all of that, I'm going to open up my phone later on and it's going to, whenever I watch YouTube, it's going to give me an advert for Clear Blue, which is a, 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 like a stick that tells a lady if they're pregnant or not. <laughs> yeah. So your phones are listening in on you. That's a good discussion to have and talk about how it's an invasion of pr privacy, which is not ethical for an app designer. So if you're struggling of where to take it, that's one area. Um, Da, 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 da. I think I've kind of covered all the areas of that. I will just read out so you've got aware of it, because then you can try some of these in the other questions in a moment. Uh, so, but seven to nine response covers at least two areas, legal, ethical, environmental. Overall, at least four individual points are considered, and these points are well developed. So just saying, oh, somebody's data stolen, that's not enough. Talk about the impact to develop, all right? If you're gonna do anything, always talk about impact. So you've got your point, evidence, explain, and link, but within that, can you get the impact to develop your answer of what it has on somebody? Um, and uh, it, if points are not well developed, then a br very broad range of answers will still be considered. All right? You're going to ask a question before I finish. Um, if you did like kind of smaller points, would you still be able to get nine? Uh, it generally says, if points are not well developed, then a very broad range of individual points have been considered in the past. I'd just try and find four points if I was you. All right. Even if it's reaching, as long as you can explain it and link it back to your context of your question somehow. All right. I'm going to stop that one.